Hey guys, it's Kirsten. So on this tutorial, I'm going to start off by saying I really hope I don't just end up in prison from hijacking shit, but cross your fingers. So I had a local teacher reach out to me on something that she saw on Pinterest and wanted me to do for her. This is like the third one in like two days. So I looked at it and I'm like, yeah, I think I can piece that together. So I have the Bitmoji app on my phone and you can actually save the Bitmojis. So her and I actually look really similar as far as like body type, being just adorable, long brown or medium length brown hair, whatever. So our avatars look the same. So I didn't have to design a whole new avatar or go to Google images and look up avatars. I just literally went to the app. I found one doing a really cute little pose and I emailed it to myself. And from the email, I downloaded it onto my computer and then from here I um, did file new and I just did a four by six little thing because I figured it was going to be low resolution and I was correct so this size um, a four by six kind of a blank slate here uh, seemed to work so this is what I'm going to do um, file and I'm going to place inside here the bitmoji which I downloaded three times because it didn't look like it was downloading when it actually was um, Whoops, get out of here. So I'm going to try to fit two per page. So I think she wants to cut them out, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, and she said it has to fit in an envelope. So I'm feeling like that. OK, so then I hijacked a picture of her um, off of Facebook because she was taking too long to respond. Um, so this I'm not going to place in bed. I'm just going to embed it. I'm just going to open it so we can look at it. OK, so this is the picture that I hijacked. This is her off of Facebook. OK, so I was trying to figure out. So I did place in bed and I was trying to like, you know, get it to match up with the avatar. And then I was like, wait a minute. Oh, my gosh, I've been playing around with layer masks and clipping masks and picture masks and all that kind of stuff. So I was like, I've got an idea. So I just got my lasso tool up here and I'm just going to kind of trace around the black outline because I feel like it'll then look kind of cartoony. OK, and then I right click in here and do layer via copy. And then actually, I wonder if I can just do um, fill with black. No, let's not do that. OK, so this is the copy of her face. So I'm going to just go ahead and do what I know. Solid color, black, not that it matters. OK, and we're going to clip it to this. OK, so now from here, I'm going to go ahead and do file, place embedded. Oh, I forgot I already opened it. That's fine. Do it again. So now, check this, check this out. I'm going to do clipping mask. Line up the chin. I want it to be a little exaggerated. OK, like that. Um, I did it a little bit more steady on the other one. I'll show you. Um, so now what I'm going to do is, um, just to make things cleaner, I do merge layers. Um, OK, now I got her face. I felt like her face was a little dark for the body. So what I did was open up a curves, create clip, uh, clip this to this. Actually, wait a minute. This one doesn't, we can do release clipping mask. Sorry. I meant, oh, what am I doing? No, clip that. And then can you clip this to that? Okay, then click on the finger over here 
and just dra drag it up the forehead um, where you want it to be a little lighter. And then you can always lower the opacity from here if you have to. Uh, that's a little too bright. Maybe do 60%. Okay, awesome. So then I went on PNG tree and typed in speech bubble or something like that, thought bubble, speech bubble, um, something like that. So I ended up here with the little thought bubble above her head to say, you know, whatever to her kids. I'm going to zoom up. I feel like her head has to be rotated a little bit. There we go. I don't want it to look perfect. I want it to look, you know, cartoony. Okay, so now what we can do is we can literally highlight, is it shift? We can duplicate all those, right click and say, duplicate layers. Then click on the move tool. I can move, I think I can fit two. I can probably fit three if I can put them this way. Uh, no, that doesn't, she wants them this size, so. Okay, that's exactly what she wants. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and flatten this image. I'm just gonna get rid of that. Get rid of that. So she needs them today, so I'm gonna print locally. So I'm gonna go and open up a new eight by 10, cause that's what Walmart will print. Um, actually, just to make it easier, I'm gonna do it this way. I, I always control J, I don't know if you even have to, but just drag a layer. I guess I can either I can either duplicate that layer or I can just drag this again. There's Wilson Barkin. Jesus Christ, Wilson! My daughter's outside. Looks like I need to put a layer mask over here. Okay, and then I'm gonna flatten that. And I'm probably gonna send this over to Walmart and have her print out 10 sheets or whatever she needs. Anyway, ta-da!